All right guys, Danny Diamond here and I'm gonna show you how I use Pixie Set and why it's the most amazing thing and time saver for me. And also my clients have an amazing interface when they use it. I am not getting paid by Pixie Set, they're not sponsoring this. If you do happen to use my link, I get 250 megabytes, but I don't even need that because I already have a paid account where I have tons of storage from them. All right, so the first thing you need to do is install a plugin to Lightroom. There are tutorials that they have on how to do it. It's really simple to do that. I'm not gonna waste your time showing you. After you do that, you come over here to your Pixie set, you create a collection, and as you can see, I have a ton for all my clients over here. You go ahead and drag and drop all the images from a photo shoot into your uh, client's um, name and folder over here. You could create different things like highlights. Um, let's say you're doing a portrait session, you could do different looks over here. Um, for me, I do products for fashion, so I could do it by names of uh, clothing items that I'm doing, but you could just keep it simple and throw all of them into one spot. Once you do that, go ahead and just select your client's name and hit the publish button right here. Um, after that, all your images are just gonna shoot straight to the website on Pixie Set under all your collections like I have over here. Um, let me show you my settings right here real quick for Pixie Set. Um, over here in your plugin uh, manager over here, you'll have to obviously log in and all that stuff. Um, I keep my color space to sRGB, that's because cell phones are sRGB screens, so you want the color to look the same way um, on, on their phones as you do on your computer uh, screen. Then I resize the images, 1800 uh, pixels on the long edge. If you have a free account with Pixie Set, which I think you should start off, that's the way I started off, uh, then you could bring your pixels down to like a thousand pixels or even less. All they're doing is proofing it. You, this is not the edited images. These are not images that will ever be used. They're just for proof. So you just keep that number real low and it uses a lot less space. Go ahead and hit save. And um, those are the settings that I use. All right, so once they're uploaded, they're, they'll be sitting right over here in your collections on the Pixie Set website. If you go ahead and click on it, you could do all kinds of stuff over here. You could make downloads available. You could make it um, password protected. You could be, they could download the entire gallery in one shot if you want them to. I usually don't want them to do that. I just want them to view the images and choose images right on the website. You could enable single photo download. There's tons of options over here. You could turn off the download status altogether like that. Um, Privacy, you could obviously add a gallery um, password to it. You could generate a password. All kinds of crazy features over here. I barely use any of them. For the collection settings, you could do the name, all that good stuff, change anything you want to. Um, I click change cover over here. I change the photo. I edit one image right away from a photo session and I go ahead and I upload that image and this shows you how it's gonna look. You could change the focal point over here if you hit focal point, so let's say that is the important part of the image, you click on that and then it'll show that part of the image um, when they're on a computer or something like that. I usually put it right up by the face or whatever products that it is I was shooting. Like that, that's what's gonna show. Super customizable, super easy. This is the best part though, and what saves all my time. First of all, I upload these images right after a photo session. Everyone knows that when they use me, they're getting proofs within 24 hours from the photo shoot. This is the quickest way to possibly do it. I come over here once they choose images, and I click Favorite Activity, and it has all their lists right over here with, um, with the images that they like. Let me show you how it looks to them when they click on the link that you send them. Right over here, this is how the home page looks. Really nice, automatically puts your name down there, puts their name right there. They can click open right here and just swipe through images. As soon as they see an image they like, they could hit that uh, like button over here. They could share it with a friend, all that good stuff. And it all goes according to lists for them. So they could click over here and if they come here to favorites, under their email address that they put in, they could have lists of favorites. And you'll see it on your end right over here as I showed you before. And this is what's the most amazing thing in Time Saver. As soon as they click on, as soon as you click on the list, you can come up over here and click to export the Lightroom list. It'll show you a list of numbers now. Hit the copy, jump over back into Lightroom, and all you have to do is hit Control F, and it'll bring in the Finder um, bar over here. Switch this to Contains, and then just hit Control V to paste, and boom, all their selected images are right here in front of your face, and these are the raw images that are selected for you because you obviously shoot in raw and you imported raw images into your Lightroom. So boom, right here, I never had to look at numbers, I never had to search for numbers, 
in one second I was able to take the full list of favorites that they have, throw it into Lightroom and I could edit the RAWs right here or I could just simply right click on it, click edit and edit in Photoshop. So what I usually do is just edit all the RAW files right over here under the develop tab right over here and then I jump over into Photoshop. I hope that helped you and if it did use my link uh, get 250 megabytes for free besides for the 3 gigabyte they already give you. Again I don't really need it I have a paid account uh, with them which I pay about a hundred bucks a year and I get 10 gig. Um, it's definitely worth the uh, investment and time I would pay way more than that. Again they are not sponsoring me for this video I'm doing this just to share my workflow and how I'm able to get my clients their images instantly after a photo shoot. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Peace and love. Do not subscribe to my channel. I never upload uh, any videos. Thank you. Do not like this video either. I don't like likes. Okay, bye.